Cool. So I'm talking about Lando, uh, which is a similar tool to Local by Flywheel. Uh, this one's a little different though, because we have no GUI whatsoever. It's just all command line. So get into that hardcore stuff you were talking about earlier. Uh, if you guys hate Star Wars jokes, you might want to leave the room. There's going to be a lot, so you'll have that to look forward to, but <laughs> hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, so first of all, who am I? Uh, that's a good question. My name is RJ May. I am a web developer for a company called American Expedition Vehicles down by Detroit. Uh, I work at the Wixom office. Uh, and I have a really, really cool job where I literally only have to build one website. That's the only thing I'm responsible for. So I'm pretty spoiled there. Uh, and I've been there for about a year and a half. It's really cool. And what happens was uh, about a year ago, we started building a new website, that one website I was talking about. And I noticed that I was getting pretty frustrated with using tools like Vagrant and things like that, and I wanted to try something different. And due to our new web host, Pantheon, they pointed us towards a tool called Lando, and that's what got me started on this. So what is Lando? It is a version-controlled, container-based, local development setup thing. It's kind of hard to explain what it is because it does so much stuff. And I think it's pretty cool. So what does all that really mean? Well, because it's version controlled, you have this little file called your lando.yml or YAML file where your entire dev environment is stored in one place. And that means that I can share that file to other people and they can just take that whole setup that I have and bring it over to their machine. Also because it's container based, like Benjamin was talking about, everything's nice and lightweight. We don't have all that extra weight you get when you're running like a vagrant box or something like that. So I'm just going to show you a couple of cool, simple things you can do with Lando. We'll start by making a new site. All right, so the first thing we do is we do a Lando init. And the cool thing about Lando is it has a bunch of these pre-configured, yes? Sure, no problem. You know, I've never actually had to do that before, so. Oh, hey. That was easy. All right, cool. Better? More? And for the sake of the audience, is this platform independent? I know you're on a Mac right now. It is platform independent. You can use it on Windows, too. Uh, I believe you can use it on Linux, but I've never really looked into it. Um, good question, though. <laughs> Uh, you can tell I'm a little nervous here, but I think I can pull this off. Um, yeah, so Lando comes with these pre-configured recipes, which are just simple, obvious ways to start out. Uh, it comes with a ton of them. Obviously, WordPress is what we're going to be working with today. That's what my web root is. And we'll call this a new Lando. Boom, that's it. I'm done. It's already started off. It's already created a little Lando YAML file that will get us started. So now what we've done is we've told Lando to kind of get its thoughts together and how we want to get going, but we haven't actually started the machine yet. So if to do that, we just type Lando start. Oh, that's looking good. Oh, yeah. It works best if you are connected to the internet so it can download all the stuff that uh, it needs to do its thing. Um, pro tip there. There we go. Okay. Whew. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? All right, cool. So already we're getting, we're off to a good start here. Um, and then because Lando comes with WPCLI already ready to go from the start, you can use those commands as soon as you go. Oh, right. Uh, I don't, I think that error message I had earlier might have tripped it up, so I'm just going to have it start again. Yeah, okay, cool. So did you guys catch Brian's opening speech where he's talking about the slow internet connection? Yeah, that might be giving me a little a bit of a headache right now. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, while I'm waiting for this to download, any questions? What's downloading right 
Uh, right now, it's downloading um, the recipe. It's getting all those containers together. Um, so it's going to be going to, there it goes. Um, it's going out to Docker's, um, I forget the, the gizmo is called. Uh, Docker Hub? Yeah, Docker Hub and putting all that stuff together. I think we've got it now. There we go. Okay, cool. So, again, using this with Lando and WP CLI, it's really easy to get sites up and running again. Hopefully, this slow internet connection is not going to make me stand up here and improvise uh, awkwardly for too long. But we'll do what we can. Oh, it's it's really taking the sweet time. That's good. Okay. <laughs> and then from there, you can do Lando WP install and get going from there. Uh, I'm not right. Uh, I'm not going to run you guys through how to do a WordPress install because I think we've all done that before at some point, but you get the core idea with that. So right off the bat, we've got a pretty cool thing going here where we can put together a new Lando installation very quickly, and we can put together a new WordPress installation very quickly. And then when you're done, all you do is get your database info from Lando info. And the nice thing is it just spits out everything you need. You get your URLs, all your Apache information, if you're using Apache, uh, all your SQL information, and your creds for your database, username, host, all that good stuff. So really, really simple stuff. Developing with Lando, though, is, in my opinion, is where the fun begins because it's so extensible. So it comes with a lot of these cool tools installed, like WPCLI that I've been using and abusing up here today. But you can also, it also comes with Composer. You can also run PHP commands. You have a PHP CLI built into it. Uh, MySQL, obviously, et cetera. The nice thing about this, too, is it's really easy to add more tools. So I use Gulp for all my CSS needs, like when I need to compile my SAS, minify it, things like that. One of the cool things you can do is you can add new services to Lando really easy. So I'm just going to grab this guy here. So this is our basic lando.yaml file. This is where all of your lando configurations get stored. As you can see, this one's pretty straightforward. And I'm just going to add in gulp here and save it. Now one thing about this is it does need to spin up new containers when you add a new service. So you have to do a lando restart after you do something like that. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. A uh, good example uh, for this kind of thing is uh, I use Redis for our production site, and so I need that locally so I can flush it and things like that. And so I just added that on as a service and good to go. And uh, I'm starting to experiment more with Elasticsearch and things like that, and that's just another tool you can just throw in there, and it all comes right with it now. Cool. All right, so now you can do Land of Gulp. Works better if you have a gulp file set up. I obviously don't, and I'm not going to teach you guys how to do a gulp file today because that's a whole other couple hours of headaches right there. But you get the core idea. Uh, so like I said, at my job, we're hosting with Pantheon. So with them, I can just type Lando push, and it will send my whole setup directly to Pantheon. If you're using a different host, um, Flywheel, like Benjamin was saying, um, you're going to have different deployment methods depending on what you're using there. Um, you can integrate it with Travis, uh, which is something that I've never gotten into myself, but I have talked to a couple people online who have said they've had good results with it, if you're the kind of guy who wants to do sort of a continuous integration there. And finally, you can do it the old school way with just FTP and export out your database. Um, with WP CLI install, it's really easy to do a quick search and replace and just go. So it's pretty slick. One of the things I like most about Lando, though, is, yeah, it's awesome for WordPress, but you can do a lot more with it. So uh, I'm kind of pivoting a little bit, and we'll be learning more about Laravel in the future. But I can still use Lando for that, because it's just running PHP under the hood. But you can also do other cool things like Python, Ruby, or just a basic LAMP stack for whatever you're trying to build out. 
My favorite thing about Lando, though, is, for example, uh, last year we were in crunch mode. I was hitting a deadline. I actually brought on a freelancer with that Lando.yaml file. All I had to do was give him that one file. She was able to run Lando start and get going within about five or ten minutes and included all of our gulp settings. Everything was good to go right from there. So it's really easy to collaborate. I'm the only developer at my job, so I don't run into that kind of thing too often. But if you're working on a large team and you need you ever run into that kind of problem where it's like, oh, it worked on my machine but not on yours, Lando kind of solves that really quickly and easily. There's a ton of really other cool things that I haven't gotten to touch with it yet, like PHP unit, like I said, I was talking about Elasticsearch and other tools like that. Uh, Mailhog, I'm doing a lot now with sending out automated emails and things like that. So it's some pretty cool stuff you can do with it. Uh, my favorite thing about this is it's still growing. It's being actively developed. It's like a year old. The guys who are building it uh, have told me they're bringing out some cool new features. Excuse me, I was chatting with them. Uh, there is talk of them doing a GUI. It was built with that in mind, but they haven't done one yet. So if you're the kind of person who gets a little creeped out by the command line, I know I was up until fairly recently, uh, there is hope. There will be some cool new stuff coming down the pipe. That's all I've got. Um, any questions? Yes? Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, so now there's a variance in my environment versus yours. Are there tools to sort of keep things aligned? Well, I mean, so the idea is you would uh, treat your Lando file the same way you would anything else with Git, or it's just another file. Um, so it'll go through the whole merge conflicts and things like that, just like you're describing. Uh, but the nice thing is it kind of brings everything together at one point, and then you can pull it back out. So, um, like one headache I ran into was um, we were I minify my CSS files with Gulp, um, and then the other developer who was also doing CSS work, she was doing the same thing. And so when we were trying to merge codes, Gulp, or excuse me, uh, Git does everything on a line by line basis, so it created some headaches there. So all I did was I uh, changed one setting, I changed my Gulp file to. to uh, not minify just while we're in production or testing. And she got that change almost immediately. So we were right back in sync within a couple minutes. Yes? Uh when you're pushing to Pantheon, it actually asks you, do you want to push files? Do you want to push code? And do you want to push database? And you can choose yes, no, or none of the above. Uh, so you get that option there. Um, I generally just never push the database because of how Pantheon's workflow works. Um, but if you're, and also I do e-commerce, so obviously that creates some headaches there. But if you want to push the database, you certainly can. Yes? Do you know if each one of those um, services are their own containers? So like a PHP container and a MySQL container? And a I believe they are. Um, I, I, I'm not too familiar with the under the hood stuff on this. Uh, I know one of the biggest differences between this and uh, local is that um, you're running the Vagrant machine. This is just using the Docker directly on my computer. Eric? Does it set up WordPress like a normal WordPress install, or does it set it up like Flywheel with the, uh, the app folder and a different folder structure? It's just your basic install. Uh, I'm sure you could <laughs> customize it to do different things like that. Uh, I know Pantheon has some special settings that they use if you're using their recipe. Cool. cool. Anybody else? Yes, sir. Does it work on the multi site? Like configuration I've never used it on multi site. Um, I'd imagine the setup would be the same as any other WordPress installation. I can't think of any reason why it would give you any trouble with that. I mean, it's under the hood, it's still pretty much the same stuff. Anybody else? Just to comment on that plan, instead of a, you might have to set up a default manual, possibly, if you're doing something in the same time. Oh, yeah. Cool. Anybody else? All right, I'll just stand here and look awkward for a few minutes. No. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs>